Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. So, yesterday we knocked out the catwalks. We got the uh, painting done all the way around on the catwalks, too. And we talked about the color scheme for the pillars and whatnot. I think I might work on the electrical today because that's something we were going to do yesterday. We didn't get around to doing it. Um, I have my hatches. I have the ladders. A little bit of wood. Pretty much everything I need. Well, I want to stick that in there. Put that in there. Uh, I don't have engines, but that's fine. Well, we can finish out this side for sure. Is this a wandering horde or is this just one single zombie? Oh, it's just one single zombie. Hey there, buddy. Come here. Come over here. Don't you bump my base. Don't you do it. All right. Let's see. Now, let me turn this on. It goes all the way down to the corner. Okay. What I should have probably done. Hindsight's 2020, right? I probably should have started there and worked my way down to the 100 mark, which would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Would have been right there. And then, you know, it would have probably worked out a little better doing it that way. But it's okay. It is what it is. And we're not too concerned about that now. We're just trying to get these things powered up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's kind of a weird number. But I think right here would be the appropriate place to put this thing. Uh, let me get my paint brushes off my belt. Let's get the uh, let's get the marker out. And I came two blocks out. Put the hole right here. And we're not going to need to mark anything here, uh, except for where we stuck our uh, our hatch. But uh, we just go all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Uh, this one's not going to take near the, uh, the amount of power that the others have taken. Probably about half the amount, honestly. So make sure I'm right. We have one block, which is right there. And then the next block is the pillar. So one block, then pillar. Do that number right there. It's going to go there. Dug a little bit too much, but that's all right. We'll just fill it in with some rebar. So I'm working on a, a new base. Another new base. <laughs> I have so many bases going on. I'm never going to get them all done. Uh, on this multiplayer server I'm playing on, uh, originally, it wasn't something I planned on showing off, but I might. I might show you all, you know, what it looks like when I get it done. Depends on how it turns out and if it works. If it works, I think it'll work. But this this War of the Walkers mod is uh, works a little differently than the uh, standard. Uh, we talked about yesterday, and the feedback was pretty good on it. Uh, only had one gentleman that uh, didn't like the idea of me modifying the. Uh, blade traps. Uh, but, you know, my thing is, the blade traps are useless at this point because I have modified my hordes so much to be so difficult. Uh, blade traps are useless. They'll, they'll be gone in the first wave, and they probably won't kill but 10 zombies if I had 50 blade traps. Uh, one cop runs into the middle, blows up 10 of them. One explosion, you know, all the way around if they're all close to each other. And so a blade trap to me is useless uh, at this point, the little tiny bit of damage they do. So it would be pretty cool if I could come up with some, uh, if I could increase durability 
and come up with a design to utilize them where I didn't have to sit there and babysit the entire time. That doesn't mean they're not going to all get destroyed still. They're probably all going to get destroyed uh, just like they would with the vanilla. But instead of having the 1,000 or 3,000 or however many hit points they have, just increase that a bit. Make them more durable. And uh, I still need to look at the HD version on War of the Walkers. And see what they did with that. Uh, you know, how much they increased hit points for the HD, the heavy-duty version, uh, what damage they have, and that sort of thing. And maybe I kind of mirror that just a little bit. But, uh, you know, the, I think what uh, he was trying to say is that, look, your, your, your hordes, what's cool about your hordes is that they're so modified that they're so difficult. And if you modify the traps to be more powerful, this is going to take away from the difficulty. Now, what I propose to do is... Um, is not going to decrease the difficulty of my hordes uh, at all, I don't think. Uh, I think it'll they'll still be very difficult uh, based on just the sheer numbers of zombies that I see uh, in each horde. Um, what I propose to do is just make something useful out of something that's not useful at all right now. And I think by, by increasing durability on those blade traps, we're going to be able to accomplish that and... Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll goof around with it. We'll goof around with it. it. It may be that even then, they're not worth using just because they get destroyed so quickly. Uh, but that's the goal. The goal is to is to uh, try to make something useful out of something that's not. And I really think the Fun Pimps are going to rework those things for Alpha 17. Maybe they don't because they have other traps that they're trying to work on and things like that. But uh, but I think, you know, they, they may rethink those blade uh, blade traps and how squishy they are because they stop working when they reach what uh, 40 50 percent uh, durability or something like that as it is so they don't get destroyed one thing they didn't count on was on higher difficulties the cops actually destroying them in one shot uh, I remember uh, uh, I forgot what build it was that I used those on where one cop explosion took out like three at the same time from a hundred percent durability you know and so that's huh. uh you there's no repair in that you can't even repair it because it's one shot boom done uh, but they do take take uh, a, a durability loss each zombie they hit boom 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 you know every time that that hit lands it takes away the uh the durability and so it doesn't take many chops to the leg and they're done anyway but yeah cop explosion uh, they're gone so we'll have to think about that i'll have to think about how i want to do it uh, if we're going to move forward and you know what all of these other mods out there and stuff um, I I don't see a big issue with kind of modding it making our own sort of mod seems like everyone these days uh, now has a mod <laughs> it's just anyone can create a mod they change a couple things and they're like oh it's my mod and uh, so I don't see an issue with us changing up a few things on it to make it uh, more enjoyable a little more playable Uh, or at least the fact that, you know, we can utilize uh, what they've given us here in the game. Uh, you know, I I think it'll be all right. I need to get some more meat stew going. We are out of that. I remember I did that. Let's go check our garden and see if it's grown at all. We need to get this paint kicking. Is that ready? Wow. Well, that was kind of fast. It all got ready. Oh, this is not. Oh, yeah, it is ready. It is ready. Beautiful. We'll plant it all again. I need to go over to the tree farm garden. I need to uh, pick all that stuff. Uh, let's do chrysanthemum seed by. We'll do uh, 50. We'll do 50. Get them on our belt and start planting them. We have plenty of corn and potatoes to hold us over for a long time. Even if I have to do boiled meat for a little while, we have so much leftover meat from all the animals we killed. There we go. All right. Same thing here. Let's, uh, I really only needed 40 to, to fill up the whole area, so I guess we just do 40. I have a few left over. 
It's always kind of good to make a few emergency seed just in case, you know, you, uh, we're just going to do 40 here, but just in case you accidentally make your glue or your, uh, your paint and you use all your cotton or you use all your chrysanthemum, then you have to go out and pick more to make more seed. <laughs> so you make that extra 10, at least that gives you a little kickstart, a little booster to get you started again, get you to reproduce reproducing the uh, whatever it is that you're trying to reproduce I always just stick the extra seed up in my food chest whoopsie come on you haven't decided yet the good feedback on the water walkers mod we've just been trying to stream that but I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to try to record like this and do some recordings of it, or how I'm going to handle that. I, I don't know if it's uh, something I'm going to do or not. I, and do sort of a let's play series out of it as well. Whoops. Someone said I need 20 to 30 stacks. Just a rough estimate of paint paint the floor out here. Yeah, we're gonna try to get that. We're gonna try to accomplish that. Plus, you know, whatever we have to paint for pillars that may not be included in that. And the belly of the base. That's the that's the big one. Uh the belly of the base as well. And I'll waste a lot. I know I'll waste a lot. Because I'll click on one spot and there'll be one block that doesn't get painted. And so I'll just roll right over the top of that. So we're going to need a good bit more. I have plenty of glass jars. It's a shame I don't have more snow here. Maybe I do. I'll have to go check and see how much I actually have. How much are we getting for for each one? Some of this soil is not fertilized, too. You know, I might need to think about that. I think I have fertilizer in the base. I think most of the... Or in the chest. I think most of the other garden is fertilized over at the tree farm. I don't know. Come on. Get that last that block right there. Son of a gun. We have a gentleman on the channel, a subscriber called Son of a Gun. I'm starting to think that people are naming their uh, gamer tags after things I say. All right. Well, that's good. We got this done. That's going to be. Uh, that's going to provide us a good bit more paint. Let's see how much we came up with here. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot. We're going to go over to the uh, tree farm garden here real quick before we continue on with what we were doing. I got to get those, those lights wired up on that one end. Uh, let's stick the seed in there. You have some leftover cotton seed. Uh, golden rod. Well, we're good on golden rod. So I can put all this in the paint bin. Uh, whoops, I can put this murky water over here, and I tell you what, do we have any frames on us? Shame on me for not having frames on me. Ah, logs, they'll work just the same. 16 logs, 15 logs. Put that in there. Paint by 4,800. Um, so we do have the chrysanthemum planted in there to reproduce. Let's run over real fast. Make sure I didn't have anything going in here. We could also sell all of those doors to the trader. Of course, at this point, I don't know what we're going to buy. You know, I don't know what, uh, what's necessary to buy. If we start a new base, there'll be some things I need, but... For the most part, I think we're, we're kind of good on all that stuff. Hmm. 
Need to get into producing paper again. Oh yeah, look at all the chrysanthemum here. And this is what we're short on too. What is this? Four P yeah, four. Four each one. Whoop. Yeah, plenty of cotton. I didn't pay attention, but I, I think chrysanthemum is the one thing that we're very short on. The cotton we're probably good on. Maybe I could... Let's do uh, 80 chrysanthemum here. Get that on my belt. Plant it in the fertilized soil. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll uh, we'll plant the we'll plant the cotton over in the uh, in the unfertilized soil. As easy as uh, fertilizer is to come by. It's a shame I haven't fertilized this entire thing. We'll leave ourselves a little bit of that. Let's do uh, cotton by 80. That'll leave us over a handful of seeds of that as well, just in case. Well, this has all been fertilized. Ah, and then we get to the point where it's not. Yeah, we're, we're so late in the game now, it wouldn't make sense for me to have to go over and... Um, hunt for fertilizer again thought I heard footsteps on wood guess that was my own yeah we'll leave those last 21 over for us nice all right well that gives us a little bit more to work with make some pain out of yeah, all of the uh, housing for the lights, uh, that needs to be painted. The back and the top. Shouldn't take too much paint. A couple thousand or something should take care of all of that. A few thousand, but that's just one more thing needs to be painted. I want to get this thing looking just right. Perfect. When we do that, uh, that preview. So cotton, we're going to be short on golden rod. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me go over here and put my seed away. And take half of that and put it in there to kind of match up. Get the numbers about even across the board here. So it's a thousand a slot. Let's uh, paint by 5,700 this time. Okay. Do that number right there. How about that? Do a sort. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, twenty. Yeah, they, you know we we're gonna be close to being good on that. Uh, plenty of fuel. I have fuel in my inventory. Let's go ahead and finish this lighting. Uh, ah, you know what I could do? Let's see what I can dump off. We don't need all this concrete in our inventory. Uh, we need to start pumping that out again. So you're going to have to have a mining day pretty soon. Uh, but I need engines. And this one... We'll take five. I should only need four based on what I'm looking at here. Maybe even three good engines. But yeah, probably four. Uh, four to five to, to finish this. To power all the lights over here. get a little bit in there so we can get it going close the hatch in case we get a wandering horde over here I guess we'll go down that way and then loop it back the other way
And someone was wanting me to aim these lights down some. Uh, we can try that. And see if it makes a difference. But I think it just, it is what it is. It's only, they're only going to go out so far. And remember folks, this is not for function. This is just for fun. This is just something that looks cool going around the outside of the base. It's not, uh, it's not something we're going to utilize. Uh, and someone said yesterday, uh, forgot who that was too, to, to leave it on during the horde. <clears throat> but I can assure you 100% the horde would be undoable. You would be watching a slideshow if I were to leave all of these lights on. And uh, why I say that is, uh, I'll show you here in a little while. I'll turn them on. Um, what's going to happen? You know how I like to run around during the horde? Well, only a certain amount. You see right there where the lights look like they're on, but they're really not on. That's not rendered. So when I run from here to right there and those lights start to render in, each time it renders in a new chunk of lighting, it freezes for just a moment. And it freezes for a moment. Then these are not rendered. So they go away. So every time I make a circle around, it's, uh, it's rendering and then taking the uh, ones I leave behind, turning those off, and it's just going to be a mess. Plus the fact that I'm borderline right now with the amount of zombies I have, 100 and something on the screen at a time. But if you, uh, if you include the lighting, just the lighting by itself, let's just look at this. Uh, well, I have vertical sync turned on, so I'm usually locked at 60, right around 60. Uh, and it fluctuates a little bit, but uh, when I get all of these turned on, you'll see there's a drastic frame drop. Just normal, you know, without a zombie on the screen, you're already experiencing a bit of frame loss. But I'll turn them on here in a minute and we'll experiment with it. And I'll show you the difference between having them on and why I cannot have these on during Horde Night. It was just for fun, folks. It was just for fun. It was not for function. Uh, we have those lights on in the center of the base to kind of light up the, the middle, but... I wanted to be able to see it at nighttime. I wanted to be able to see it at nighttime. And originally, I was just going to do some polls. Uh, you could, you all can blame Draco. Because <laughs> I was just going to do a poll here and a poll here, there with some uh, stadium lights or some yard lights. Draco's like, why don't you go all the way around your base, man? Go big or go home. So that's why I did what I did here. Uh, it was just Draco. There were several of you saying, oh, you should do wraparound lighting or something. And, Boy, imagine if we were doing the three-tier instead of a two-tier. We'd still be here probably gathering up engines and headlights to, to make it all work. I'm going to turn my FPS on here. So you can see it. Uh, you know, I, Like I said, I have vertical sync turned on, so it should keep it locked around about 60. Uh, but even with that... Uh, you know, it's going to drop. And then when I turn on this next tier of lighting and we try to render in and out and in and out, it's going to be all over the place. Okay, so uh, I didn't even count that. I don't even know how many lights there are on that particular setup. Let's look at our power. No, there we go. So... Three hundred watts. All right. Uh, let's see if I can take that off. Got to be careful here, folks. I died the other day because the um, I took off the rebar that was next to the top, and the top piece of rebar fell on my head and uh, killed me. One shot. One shot. Boom! Look at that. Dropped a thirty. 24, 25, 34, like instantly when I turned that on. Let's go turn the next one on. See it flashing yellow? Yeah, there's no way I could take on a horde. Just the horde alone is enough to kind of uh, burden my machine down a good bit. Uh, but see, it's going to constantly try to render things in and out. And uh, 19, 18... 19, 18, 13. Went down to 13 right there with all of these things on. I don't know if you can see it. 
but I can certainly feel the drop in frames uh, just by having these lights on. And that's 200 and about 50 lights or so that are on right now. Uh, and what happens also is the lights that are on that side over there, they're not going to be rendered at all until I run over that way. Uh, look at these lights. They look like they're on. They're not on. Boom, they go off. And over here, look at that. Looking over here, 60 back to 60. Look this way where the lights are at, 30. I'm standing in this spot, folks. I'm not doing anything. I'm looking at 60 when I'm looking away from the lights, looking at the lights, 30. Now that's a that's a huge drop. That's half the FPS just by looking at them. I'm not even moving or firing at zombies. There are no zombies on the screen, nothing. You know, that's probably a 20 drop loss just on zombies alone. So it's all kind of for science, folks. So you know if you ever try something like this on your own, what you're up against. Um, you know, and how much it actually drops your FPS to have a bunch of lights like this in one area. Uh, so let's just try this real quick. Um, okay, so that one's aimed down a bit. You don't even notice it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do one more just to make sure. But you don't even notice that these lights are aimed down over here. You don't see the effect of it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even see the effect. Look at that. That's so bright. It just looks like snow. <laughs> it looks like snow. Um, and I don't think it's because the rebar frames are in the way. Nah, see, it, it didn't, it had no effect on how far the lights went out. They're, they're coded to go out a certain distance and that's it. They're only going to go out so many blocks. Doesn't matter if you aim them up, down, left, right, where, wherever you aim them, aim them, they're just going to go out so far. And, uh, and that's that has no effect whatsoever on the render distance of the light. That's crazy. That is blinding. All right. Well, that's done. I'm done and done. Let's turn this on and make sure I know how far down. Okay, so that is definitely where it stops, right there where I have it marked. I wonder if we can get all those on one generator. That'd be real nice. Be real cool if we could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna be short. We're gonna be a little bit short. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can put the generator here. have this we have one block right here and then the generator where it's gonna sit kneel that down so oh whoosh. destroy it with the auger the rebar Yeah, I totally get what gentleman was saying yesterday about making the, the traps more uh, powerful would uh, take away from the, the sheer magnitude of the hordes that I have. Uh, it would be a good example would be like making the shotgun turrets do um, twice the damage or something like that. You know, that, that would be kind of silly thing to do. We wouldn't do that. Uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't increase the damage so that 
it made the hordes easier because we're all about making the hordes tougher uh, without having to make a zombie that takes 100 shots to kill. That's the dumbest thing ever. That's so goofy. Uh, you never want a zombie that takes 50 shots to the head to kill it. Um, I would never, ever, ever want to play that way. Uh, send me a thousand zombies that take one shot at one time on my screen. Send a thousand at me. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, but uh, I think I dug one more too deep. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, but, you know, having that one really difficult zombie is just a silly way of going about playing the game. Uh, if you ever see any TV show, if we're going to base things on some type of reality and what you've seen on TV... You've never seen someone have to stab a zombie in the head 50 times to kill it. It's one shot, done. One bullet, done. And uh, I kind of like that, you know. Just a lot of them. Just a lot of them. Maybe one day, they'll have the game so optimized that instead of 100 and something on the screen, I can have 1,000 on the screen at one time. And this whole area out here, this whole concrete area, there'd be a zombie on every block out here. And uh, that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, one or two shots on every one. Maybe a headshot takes him out. Uh, take a bunch of body shots, but one headshot would uh, take him out. Um, that would uh, that would be fun for for me at least. We'll uh, we'll see what they come up with here in the future. Okay, uh, so I need to mark this so I know where to stop when I'm wiring up here. Right there is where I need to stop. And I tell you what, let me go grab engines real fast. Let's load this generator down. We might try to load it down with 600s and see if we can't power that entire segment down there. Entire section with just this one generator. See if it's possible to do that. You know what, let's stick our vault doors and poles and land claim seed. Uh, we don't even really need the relays on us, do we? We're not going to use those. We'll use everything else I have. All right, so uh, engines. Let's get the best engines we have. One, two, three, four, five, six engines. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit more fuel as well. Oh yeah, somebody suggested this yesterday. I didn't think to do it. I've not thought to do this. But have I tried the roller feature? Uh, well, let's do the brush first. Uh, what was it that I'm... Well, that wouldn't work though. See, all I need to do is paint the side of the rail. They were saying, uh, have you tried the roller feature on this to see if it would uh, paint? But... Um, I think it's just going to goof up a bunch of the base if I do this. I think it's going to goof up and paint a whole ton of area we don't want to paint. But it's not going to paint this. See, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Roller feature. Roller. Um, no matter how we look at it, it does not want to paint. Um, yeah. So, I, I figured I'd give that a try. Let's try to paint it from down below. Same thing. This side. Oh, shoot! Uh, where's my black? And the stairs were black. And that was black. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Whoopsie! That's all good. That little minor detail over there. It's so hard to uh, see it anyway. I'm not going to be focused on that. So, uh, let me get my ladders crafted here again. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to favor that. Misclicking all kind of stuff today. It's one of those days, folks. One of those days. Okay, let's get the generator powered. Am 
Might as well go ahead and 10k it. Close that in case we get a wandering horde, which I say, and here they come. I just called it. I knew they were coming. I could smell them. I could smell them. Get that headshot. Don't get that headshot. They're uh takes multiple shots to kill him. Oh like Nurse Nancy, don't you do that. Yeah, I think they're all down. They all look dead. Oh, he's just trying, he was just fooling, playing possum. All right, all right. Let's get this party started. Let's go this way. Sound of the crickets. Get into a zone here and try to get this thing done quickly. I'm real curious if we're going to be able to. I didn't even bother to count out the lights, folks. I could have counted them out and told you whether or not we're going to get all of these in on one generator or not. But we'll find out here in a minute. Oh, mother. Oh, my gosh. I just made a big boo-boo, folks. Wasn't looking to where I was going. Hmm. Did that take away? No, it didn't take away. It didn't take away. It took this one away. Is it going to do this one away? It is. It is. So we need to go back this way with it. Let's see if we can fix this real quick without having to rewire it all. There's a chicken. Do you hear the chicken? Okay, that's fixed. That's fixed. Woo. You have to go the right way with it. Whatever way you went the first time, you got to go that way. There's a chicken out there. Sounds like I have a chicken farm. A little chicken coop. I think chicken's getting wrecked by a cactus right now. <laughs> I marked that silly thing and didn't even pay attention to my marker. Item needs repairs or is missing what? Oh, this. What do we need? Uh, forged steel to repair that. All right, let's go repair it. I don't think I've ever broken a wire tool before. Of course, I don't think I've ever tried to wire up a thousand spotlights either. All right, so we can take that down. You know what I haven't paid attention to lately? The day. Our last horde was 161? Is that right? 
We still have some time. We still have a little bit of time. Time after time. I wonder if I can go... Can we go two directions off this? Yes, we can. You're probably going to go to town and take on the next horde. I should probably take my money and go around to all the traders and buy up a bunch of rockets, make some more Molotovs, some pipe bombs, all of that, and take on the horde. Um, oh my gosh. What are you doing? But take on the horde. Did I not wire those? Wired those up right there. We have the marker. It's down there, and that's as far as we went. I guess our, my tool broke when I was right there. But uh, anyway, I, yeah, I think I'm going to try to buy some rockets, and we'll go to a town somewhere. We'll take them on out in the street. Just stay away from this place, you know, because we don't want to ruin the concrete any more than we already have. Exploding crossbow bolts, cops exploding. Uh, we'll just we'll go someplace and do some silly little wood shack hoard or something like that. And I'll save our base. I uh, also need to save all the shotgun shells I can. So when we do get around to doing a base preview, then we have all of the uh, shells that we need to, to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is let's click on this and go here. It's hard to believe we've already made it 42 minutes into this episode. We got a good bit done, though. We got a good bit done. So let's see here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So let's see how many watts we've used so far. Looks like I uh, just did a rough. Oh, oh! I landed on the ladder. I thought I was gonna break my leg. A rough est estimate of uh, 300 watts more we need. We might be able to pull this off. Uh, it's gonna anger me if I get to the last part and I'm like one or two lights short on power, and I have to do another generator just. Uh, just for one light. We might not even worry about that light. <laughs> if it's like one light short. We'll just say, ah, the bulb went out. The ballast is bad. Something. We'll use our imaginations. All right. Put it on the honeydew list. Yeah, I'm going to get out there and change that ballast one day. Change the bulb. You know something I haven't done? I did it on another build a while back is put lights underneath my base. Spotlights. You can house the lights just like we do the uh, shotgun turrets. And they're protected. They're protected. I did that on um, Code Red. I put one spotlight with two shotgun turrets around that spotlight. Uh, in the same housing, wired them all together, you know, provide a little under base lighting like that, like uh, the housing that we have right there for the shotgun tiers. We could do something like that, add a few down there. I think we had just a bit to spare uh, power wise in the generators. And if we didn't, we have so many purple engines now, uh, or we go get more, uh, we could probably pull that off because I don't think I had perfect 600 engines in uh, the horde bunker or the horde. 
defense generator? I don't think I did. We'll have to take a look at that at some point. And that way, if we don't turn these on on Horde Night, we can at least turn the ones on that are down there. But these lights do uh, take away from your FPS. And if I were playing standard settings, folks, if I were playing just vanilla Horde XML file, we'd get away with with some of this crazy stuff with a bunch of lights on and all. But uh, I tried to not worry about that and push everything to the limit, the server, the machine, with just the sheer amount of zombies on the screen at one time. And I could probably even turn graphics down a little bit and maybe change a few server settings and uh, squeeze another 50 to 100 zombies on the screen at one time. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just hope that Alpha 17 is going to be a bit more optimized and we can squeeze those extra zombies in without having to change too many things on the server settings or on my end here on my gaming rig. Is that it? That's the last one. Nice. Yeah, they all worked on that one generator. Now let's look at the... The power consumption here, it's going to be close if it's not like dead on the money. It's so bright I can't even see the hatch. 590. We had two more spotlights and that was capped. <laughs> that worked out beautifully. Couldn't have, couldn't have planned that any better. Yeah, I was, uh, that's how I planned it, folks. That's how I planned it to work out right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's get the whole side lit up, folks. Let's get the whole side lit up. You know, I ought to do a little mark. I don't know how we could signify this. A little mark every time we had a, uh, a new segment. Be too late now, though, because I've already taken down the markers. But I could, not too late, because I could just do this and then turn it on and mark where the, the lighting stops. See how it's dark on that end down there? You see what I mean with it rendering in? Uh, if you you know didn't believe me earlier, uh, now I'm gonna take this run to the other end and watch these things like gradually. See them how they're, they're they're rendering in as I'm moving on the ground. That's what I was talking about. I'll take it back the other way in case you missed that and how it actually renders the light in. Uh, but it takes me down to 20 FPS by having all of these on at the same time uh, so same thing here we're gonna go let's back off this way so the light is barely touching the base right there where the blue starts on that uh, that pillar see where the light starts now let's work our way down this way now it's on the base what is that about 40 50 blocks or something like that away so even though we have all these lights you know they're not all gonna be on at the same time and uh, as I run around and it tries to render that in along with the zombies on the screen, whoever it was that suggested I take on the horde with all these lights, it, it's just simply not going to work. Uh, it just it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if that will ever change. I don't know if the render distance on lighting, even in a full release version of this game, will ever change. I think it will always most likely be something like that. You can only see so far away. Uh, with your view distance and uh, what the game is, is going to render. But that's all of them, folks. That's all the lights on one side. So we got away with what? Uh, four generators? One, two, three, four. Four generators to do it all. To do the entire side. Not bad at all. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will call it there for today. We got a lot accomplished. We finished one side. We have one side to go. I'll uh, need to grab some steel and finish upgrading these pillars. Uh, I still haven't decided about the paint job on the base. If we're going to stream it, if we're going to uh, perhaps make some episodes out of me doing it and cut and splice and edit or what. Uh, but I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for hanging out with me today. You have yourselves a good day, good evening. I'll see you all tomorrow.